Hey everyone, I'm Mark Snodgrass, and today I wanted to cover how to clean up data in Domo. You probably often run into cases where your data that's uh, coming in from an outside source does not come in in the format that you need it to be in, whether it's dates coming in as text or numbers coming in as text, and need to figure out a way to get that formatted properly so you can build the right cards off of that. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that in Magic ETL in just a few easy steps. So let's get started. So here I've got a data set with a few different dates and a few different numbers and uh, finally a string at the end. And they're all coming in as text, as you see here. So we can handle this a few different ways. I think the first one uh, is right at the source and I think it's often overlooked, but pretty handy. If you click on the configuration tab, then click on data handling, you have the select data type and you can tell it and what type that you want it to be. So you can obviously for this one, change it to date, but then the next really key piece is this cog here and what to do with uh, dates that it can't interpret. So if it tries to convert it and then it's not a valid date, what do you want it to do? So by default, it will just air out, uh, but you can click on this inherit or drop down uh, and choose, hey, let's set that to null if it, can't convert it, um, or we could say, hey, remove the whole row. I doubt you want to do that, or uh, leave it come up to cause an error, which is what it would do if you did did nothing. But I think the null one is the most most common issue, uh, one that you want to do. So if we did that, let's just run this preview real quick. We can hopefully see the results here without too much. Trouble, we'll click on this next tile over here and we'll get the results. See that formatted. So click on preview. Now we see this is the date data type and it changed that from uh, text how it was before, just a you know string of numbers. Now formatted into kind of Domo's default date format, which then you can use as cards. And you see we've got these in a different format and these in a different format. Doing the same thing, it could handle that for each of these uh, without issue. But I'll show you another way to do that is if we brought in the alter columns feature. It's actually the same, um, presented with the same um, options here when the, this cast data type that you could choose date. And then you have this cog again to say, hey, how, how do you want to uh, deal with that? So we could do that one there. And uh, we'll do, we can connect this and get that. And then we'll also just show you this third one here is through here. So you can, what's called a try cast is essentially running what that is, but through this, through the formula bar and you can say as date. So what this will do is say it'll convert it to a date but if it can't, then it's going to put a null in here. So you see that runs like that. And I know we have some bad data in here. We uh, saw that actually before we looked a few rows down here. This is all zero, so it wouldn't be able to convert it. We'll just run that and see that uh, hopefully if all works well, that will disappear uh, through this process. And we'll just have a null value that rather than a, a date that your car would not be able to work with at all. And we'll be able to uh, keep moving on and have these all formatted consistently that you can uh, then use on your cards. We'll get this thing to preview. And I did note, um, I've only got a one here, but I have found if you select a lot of these formatted, it does take a bit longer for um, the process to run. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I feel like the formula uh, editor does a good job of not kind of bogging down the time. That's uh, kind of how Domo process. You see that zeros turned to null. You see these are all dates now, and we use three different ways in order to convert that out. 
So we could do that the same with the number fields here as well, um, choosing that option for these. We could choose an integer or a fixed decimal um, or a floating decimal if we want. Um, or we could do that here again, they're going to be the same options. So we won't go over that too much. Uh, but again, if you're not familiar in the formula editor, you can do this and we will uh, do a try cast and um, one. And then you could say as integer here, or you could say as decimal. So depending on if you know you need um, whole numbers or or not and what it's going to do here. So if we do this, we're just going to get that because there are no decimal places in there. If it had decimal places, you're going to need to, and it's as a text, um, this should be, then bring in that appropriately. So final one, maybe we'll just uh, do this with Lee. Uh, if you've got some really non-numeric text in here, so you in my data set, I've got a, a leading plus sign or a minus sign, depending on what it is. So you can actually apply some logic on there and do some case logic if you need to. Uh, it might be something like this. Let's open up the whole editor here, and you could say a case when the first string, num4 here, equals a plus sign, then we're going to, let's replace the plus sign. It's nothing. So we're going to remove that plus sign. Then we are also going to, uh, now we can safely cast it as a decimal. Like that. Otherwise, we're going to do this. We're going to copy paste this, but we know it's a negative sign. And kind of one way I deal with that is to then multiply it by negative 1. So we're going to replace the minus sign with nothing and then cast it at a decimal. And we're going to hope we did this right so this demo looks good on there. That looks good. So we've got that. Now cast it. Uh, so now we've got some good looking data um, in here. And the final thing just to touch on easy one is strings. Just uh, think about applying the trim function, which would remove uh, leading or trailing spaces out of your data. So if you're coming in with like some fixed width uh, string fields, so maybe there's some hidden spaces at the end, use a trim function to get rid of those. Uh, there's also a, a squash white space function, which will get rid of um, multiple spaces in a field. Uh, so if there's like three spaces in between words or something like that, then it'll just bring that down to one as well as doing the trim. So that's something to think about. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, again, my name is Mark Snodgrass, and feel free to reach out if you have any questions.